So this is an algorithm for sequential search. So before uh, we are going to understand the algorithm, so first of all, we have to know what do you mean by a searching. So simply a searching is nothing but finding an element from a given list of array elements. It could be ordered or unordered. So ordered is nothing but uh, the elements is arranged in uh, some ascending or descending order. And unordered is nothing but it will be jumbled. Okay, so uh, where we are going to exist the searching things in real scenario. So uh, let's take a simple example. Suppose uh, like uh, a faculty in your classroom, uh, either she or he wants to find a particular student is there in your classroom or not. So simply what they are doing, they are searching. So how they are going to search? By their roll number or by their name. Right. In the same way, in all searching algorithms also, by the given list of elements, either it may be ordered or unordered, we are going to search by a key. So coming to a sequential search, which simply call as a linear search, which is a very simplest algorithm for searching and which is used uh, like where a list of uh, integers is not in any order. And uh, how this algorithm is going to work is it starts examining the first element from the given list and it will compare whether uh, uh, the element is your uh, searching element or not. If it is not, then it will continue by the next element in your sequence until it will find the element in your list or if they exit from your list by not finding any element in your list. So simply what it returns, it returns the index of an element where it is available in your list of elements or else it will return simply false. It says like the element is not found in list. So this is a simple algorithm uh, that is uh, by using a brute force technique. This is very simple algorithm. So we'll try to understand this algorithm first. Then we solve with an example. So here it is an algorithm. The algorithm name is sequential search. And here we are taking uh, n number of elements. Now see here, we have an array here. So array name is A and we have n elements. So index starts from zero and index ends with n minus one. And here it takes another parameter also that is K. So K is nothing but a key. Means the element what you are trying to find in your given list. So these are the comments. So now you can see uh, two backslashes is there in your algorithm is nothing but these are the comments. So what is comment simply will say like what you're going to do with your algorithm. So the first comment what it says it likes we are going to implement a sequential search with a search key as a uh, sentinel. And what we are going to take an input for this algorithm an array A of n elements and a search key that is your K. And what we are expecting from your algorithm, that is an output, means the index of the first element in A of 0 to n minus 1 and whose value is equals to the key. Or else it will return minus 1 if no such element is found in your list. So now you can see here, the first line is given as A of n tends to k. So now you're going to search your key with the A of n elements in your given list. So initially we start with an index zero because we all know always array index starts from zero and it ends with n minus one. So now what we simply doing in sequential search, what we are going to do? So we have to compare with each and every element in your list and we start from the beginning. So we know I is always taking the index value. So here we see that I value is zero. So what condition we made here while a of i is not equals to k. So why we are given this condition? If the k is not the current index, then only we are going to increment and we are going to take the next element to compare. Right? Whether it is your uh, required key or not. So if you find that the particular index is your key, need not to increment simply provide that index, right? And then 
simply exit from the loop. See here, and we have to take another condition also, and we have to increment your n value, I mean increment your index value up to it reaches n only. We cannot run your loop more than the elements of the given list. So if key value is found at particular index and that index is less than your n value, then what simply you're going to return? You return the index value by this i. Else, when you're coming to this else condition, so even you are searching the key with all the elements of your array list, but still you are not finding that, then simply we have to return minus one. That is nothing but false. So this is a simple uh, example. Uh, let's we go through this example and try to understand how we are going to do the sequential search. So these are the list of elements. Now you can see how many elements are there. Here we have totally eight elements. So what is your n value? n value is eight. So we know like always the index starts from zero and it ends with n minus one. Because of that here, the array a index is zero and it ends with a of seven. So totally we have eight elements. So what your sequential search will do? It starts from the beginning. It starts from the starting element. So it is available at index zero. So now n is eight means the number of elements and key value we are trying to is 69. So in this problem, what we are going to search? We are searching an element as 69. So we know the key value. So what simply we have to do, we have to compare with each and every element in your array list until we find the key or else we can exit from the list. So we start with i is zero because our algorithm will say, see, initially i value is zero. So we start at the first index. So i zero and a of zero. What do you mean by a of zero? a of zero is nothing but the element 16. So 16 is not equals to 69, right? 16 is not equals to 69. We are searching for an element 69, but we are looking the element at index A of 0 is 16. So these two are not match. So what we have to do? We have to increment. So now initially I value is 0. Now it get increment and it will be 1. So now the position is get increment. So now we get A of 1. So what is A of 1 is 18. So we are searching this 18 means 18 is compared with 69. So 18 is not equals to 69. So this is also not the required element to search. So what simply we have to do? Again, we have to increment. Then we are getting the next element as 25. So 25 is also not equals to 69. So again, what we have to do, we have to increment the i value. So now we get the next element as a of 3, which is 32. And 32 is also not equals to 69. So again, we have to increment. We get the next index as a of 4. And here we are find 69. So now you can see 69 is equals to 69. This condition is true, right? Because see here, at this place, so you can see A of fourth element is nothing but 69. So now what is the element you are going to search? That is 69 only. So 69 is equals to, right? It is equals to 69. So now the search is found. Right here the search is found. So what your simply algorithm will check next? So whenever the search is found, so then it is going to check another condition, whether your i value is less than n. So what is your n8? So then what is your i value is 4. So 4 is less than 8. Yes, the condition is true. So once the condition is true, what it is going to return? It return i value. So what is that i value? The index 4. So then it stops because uh, we, we found the key from the given list of elements. So we seen that previously itself, like in your algorithm, 
your algorithm is going to exit in two ways. The first thing, whether uh, either it is finding a key and return a index value or else it's not finding an element from your list and it is going to return a false. So this is the first scenario. So uh, now we can see the time complexity. So we can consider the time complexity for this uh, sequential search. Like we can take three considerations like best uh, best case, average case and worst case. So best case is nothing but suppose you're finding for one element and that element could be a first element. So whatever you're going to search and that element will be the first element in your list. So simply it is the best search. So at that case, what is the complexity, time complexity is nothing but order of one because you are searching only one element. In average case, so average case is nothing but like uh, you can see in middle or else uh, uh, you can search until uh, the last but one element. So those cases will consider as an average case. So in that average case, the time complexity of linear search will consider as order of n elements. In worst case, so worst case is nothing but whatever the key you're going to search in your list. So either you can find as a last element or else you can search for all the elements, but we cannot find that element in your uh, given list. Those are the cases. So those we consider as a worst case. So in that case also, we have to... Um, compare or we have to examine all the elements in your list. So the time complexity we can consider as order of n. So I hope you all can understand this uh, linear search algorithm.